Imagine a world where AI not only understands you, but thinks, reasons, and codes alongside you. Today, we are diving into such a reality like comparing two AI giants and titans. DeepSeek AI, a new force in AI from China, and the globally acclaimed GPT-4 by US Open AI. DeepSeek AI has emerged with its groundbreaking large language models, including the DeepSeek LLM Base and Coder, both available in 7 billion and 67 billion parameter versions. Meanwhile, OpenAI's GPT-4 has been a front-runner in AI innovation with its own multi-billion parameter model. Today's comparison will shed light on these AI powerhouses and their impact on the future of technology. I request you all to watch the video till the end so that you get a better idea like who wins this battle. So to access it on the web, what you need to do is just simply need to click on this chat with DeepSeek Coder. You just need to create an account and you will be all set with this interface. Okay, so there are two options like DeepSeek Chat and DeepSeek Coder. For this comparison, I'll be using five questions from like general LLM rubric leaderboard, okay? And five questions from this one, like coding LLM leaderboard. So we will be testing like both of these, like DeepSeek Chat and Coder with OpenAI's GPT-4. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first we'll compare DeepSeek Chat with OpenAI's GPT-4. So the first question is, write a poem about AI with exactly 50 words, okay? All right, you can see that the generation has completed successfully. First we will say that how many words both of them like uh, produced. Yeah, DeepSeek Coder has produced like 45 words, so it's good. And GPT-4 has produced like 51 words. In terms of word count, GPT-4 is like more accurate. And after analyzing the both poems, I believe that like OpenAI's GPT-4 has done a great job in producing like a good poem because of its ability to choose synonyms like really great. So I believe that OpenAI's GPT-4 is winner in this scenario. So another creative question, like writing email to my boss, letting them know that I am leaving the company. In terms of speed, I believe that DeepSeek Coder is doing really a great job. That's really great. So both of these versions are like pretty great. They are good. But I believe that DeepSeek Coder has done really great job here. It's because I like this draft and I believe that this is the best letter if you want to send to your boss for like notice of your resignation. So I believe that DeepSeek Coder is a winner in this scenario. So now let's see whether this model is censored or not. Yeah, both of these models are censored, okay, as you can see from the response as well. So yeah, that's not a good thing in my approach. If you are talking about LLMs, so they should not be censored if you want to take full advantage of these models. All right, so let's see it from like analytical perspective. I gave it a prompt like if we take five shirts out in the sun and it takes four hours to dry, how long would 20 shirts take to dry? Explain your reasoning step by step. So alright, so both of them provided me with an answer. So you can see that it just calculated like step by step. It's saying like uh, it would take around 16 hours for like 20 shirts to dry. It's like taking regard like I drive four shirts, that again four, that again four. It's not taking in consideration the simultaneous drying of things, okay? So if we talk about like GPT-4's response, it first gave me like uh, there are the steps to understand this, like equal exposure to sun and air, like limiting factors and practical considerations so in summary it's saying like if you can ensure that all 20 shirts are spread out equally as when you dry five shirts all 20 shirts should dry in approximately four hours so i actually liked the response of gpt4 like it's actually taking them like simultaneous drying which is what is expected okay so gpt4 is a winner in this scenario so let's see some advanced mathematics, like I am saying, what is 25 minus 4 into 2 plus 3? Let's see what it generates. The GPT-4 has just given me the result of the calculation. And if you just click on this, it will provide you with the analysis as well. So it's actually doing the stuff in, I guess, the Python programming language. But if you talk more like steps, so I believe that DeepSeek Coder has done really a great job in this scenario. So I'm asking it another question to add up the DeepSeek base comparison here, okay? So I'm saying like Jane is faster than Joe. Joe is faster than Sam. Is Sam faster than Jane? Explain your reasoning step by step. 
So you can see that a deep seek has finished earlier. So it says like based on the information provided, we can conclude that Sam is not faster than Jane. So it gave me the reasoning as well. Like Jane is faster than Joe. We also know that Joe is faster than Sam. Since Jane is faster than Joe and Joe is faster than Sam, it follows that Jane is faster than Sam. And it also gave me the exact same thing. So I believe that both are doing a great job here. Based on the fact that DeepSeek is an open source model. So it's really neck to neck with GPT in terms of like base comparison. Now, let's try to compare the code version of DeepSeek with OpenAI's GPT-4. Alright, the first question I'm asking, like write a snake game in Python. Yeah, you can see that DeepSeek coder has already finished. Let's just test out this code and see like how it performs. So, alright, I'll just simply save this file. So now let's just test the code that is generated from like deep sea coder. So I'll simply give a prompt like python snake.py. Well, it's looking good. Oops, the speed is actually really fast. So let's see how I can actually adjust the speed. Yeah, I think it's here on the top. Let me just adjust the speed for instance 20. Wow, that's really great. You can see right over here that it's perfect implementation. So DeepSeek Coder has done a really great job here. Now let's just quickly grab the code from OpenAI's GPT-4 and see how it actually doing its stuff. Yeah, this one also seems to be working great. But you can see that this implementation has no score and it's actually looking not that great as compared to DeepSeek Coder's implementation. Okay, so, but I believe here like DeepSeek Coder has done a really great job and it's actually beating GPT-4 as well. Alright, for the second test, I am giving it a prompt like create a JSON for following. There are three people, two males. One is named Mark, another is named Joe. Third person, like a woman, is named Sam. The woman is aged 30 and two men are both 90. Let's try it to see which one performs better. Yeah, by looking at these two, these both are looking pretty much identical. So yeah, they both perform really well in this scenario. Alright, for the third test, I'm giving it to write a Python code for like following business logic. It has to ask the user for their name. Confirm it doesn't include anything but alphanumeric characters. Then reverse the string and output it. Okay, so let's send it to see which one performs better in this scenario. Alright, so you can see right over here that uh, this implementation is quite a small one. I'm interested to test this one out first. So alright, the code is working. Let's just enter my name first. I'll enter something else like not an alphanumeric thing. I'll add some special characters here as well. So it's saying like invalid name. Please enter alphanumeric characters only. So now if I just enter alphanumeric characters. So yeah, you can see that it's working like a charm. Okay, so it just reversed the list and that's really a cool implementation. It's just like seven to eight lines of code. So now let's test the implementation of like GPT's code. So let me enter the name once again with some special characters. So it says like your name should only contain alphanumeric characters. Let's do it once again. Yeah, the both of them are working actually really good, but I like the implementation of like deep sea code. It's just like a few lines of code and working like a child. So that's really a cool thing. All right, for the next one, I want to see whether this thing actually removes the bugs in the code or not. I have given it a code, like what are the bugs in this code and also provide a clean code for this thing, okay? So let's send it and see how it performs in this scenario. Yeah, after analyzing both of these codes, they look pretty much similar and both of them like DeepSeek Coder and OpenAI's GPT-4 are like equally good for like clearing the small buggy codes. Okay, so that's really a cool thing. Alright, for the last test, I want to know whether it takes in account like a large prompt or not. 
So I am giving the LLM, both of them, a complete task, which contains requirements and like bonus as well. Okay, so let's see what I am demanding from them. I'm saying implement a function in Python that takes a sentence as input and returns a dictionary containing the word frequencies, like number of occurrences. So I want to know which one performs better. I want to see that whether they take in account the larger prompts as well or not. Okay. So you can see that it just directly came onto the code like, uh, but the OpenAI GPT-4 is explaining the steps first. So well, all right, you can see that I actually love the approach of like DeepSea Coder here, like how well it has structured the response. Uh, you can see that it's first providing with a function that meets the requirement. Then it's showing you like how to test this function. And then for the bonus functionality, it said like you can add this. Whereas GPT-4 is just doing a simple program, which is not that structured. If someone wants to like learn more about like what this code is doing and how it's performing the task. So I think DeepSea Coder's implementation is really good. Okay, so all right, as we wrap up our comparison of Chinese DeepSeek AI and US Open AI's GPT-4, it's clear that we are witnessing a remarkable era in AI development. DeepSeek Coder has emerged as one of the leading coding-centric large language models, showcasing exceptional prowess in the realm of programming and coding challenges. Meanwhile, GPT-4 continues to impress with its versatility in creative writing and nounced language tasks. When it comes to analytical thinking and problem solving, these AI powerhouses are indeed neck to neck. Stay tuned as we continue to explore this rapidly evolving and exciting field of artificial intelligence.